Well, he's always got great advice for us when it comes to our money. Emerald's money man, Dan Johnson, is in the house answering a viewer's question today. Welcome back to the show, sir. Thank you, Andy. Everything going well? Yeah, it's going Karaoke, great. Karaoke, all that's fine? Karaoke is wonderful. All right, very good. I hear, you, I hear this guy's a champ. All right, let's get to Penny's question. I want to make sure my savings in retirement are working for me and growing, but I don't feel secure having my money in the crazy stock market. Penny, none of us do, actually. So how do I grow my money and keep from losing it? All right, Dan, this could take a while. Take okay, I'll, uh, here we go. Penny, thank you. Um, she's right. Right now, there's a whole lot of risk associated with putting money into the stock market. Uh, number one, the stock market's very volatile. And with everything going, around, going on around the world, it's not like we're looking at um, a lot of prosperity. There's right. not much that you can count on. So putting all your eggs in that basket is probably not wise at this point. Okay. Um, if we were to look at this chart, you would see that that's over the last 10 years or so. If you put your money in at one point, at this point, you'd have about the same amount that you did like 10 years ago. And that's only if you didn't have to take out any amount of money during that time. If you had to take any out in there, you were in real trouble. Yeah. Okay. So those financial advisors that say, no, 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 we're in this for the long haul. Okay, how much more of a long haul do you need than that? Okay, yeah. that's that's dangerous. Right. All right. So going forward, what are you going to do? Um, you got a problem putting it in the stock market. Uh, what if you go to uh, the bank and you decide that you're going to put some money in the bank instead? Well, the interest rates there are so low, um, you're not losing any, except if the cost of living goes up, you haven't gained anything. Right. Okay. So number three, let's say you put some money in some bonds. Well, if inflation goes up, you're losing money there too because your bonds are worth less. The only thing that's really working well right now are hedge funds. Okay, hedge funds are actually designed to make money if the stock market goes down. So right now, we're actually the mar market's headed down right now. I'm tickled pink. I'm really happy because I'm hedging against that. So I'm making money. Okay. All right. So the problem with hedge funds is you have to have like a million dollars to put in there. All right. They're for rich people. That's why what I do is the hedge fund for the everyday person. That's what we're right. going to talk about today. So Penny, how do you build your own hedge fund? Totally doable. Split your money. Okay. I'm just going to, I don't want anybody to have an excuse to not have a nice big retirement account. I will show you how to do this for free. Okay? okay. So if you don't get this, call my office. I promise I will set this up. It won't cost you anything. Split your money into two buckets. Okay. okay. So let's use 50-50. Now, if you want to be more aggressive because you're younger, fine. Less because you're older, okay. Split it 50-50. Half of that is going to be so boring. Okay, so predictable, so conservative that you're just going to plan on it making interest every year. Now, okay. not, not the bank interest. I'm talking about five, six, seven percent. Um, if you don't know where those accounts are, those accounts are out there. Ask me, I'll show you where they are. Okay. okay. Secondly, the other half of that money is going to go into something a bit more aggressive. That way, every year, one year at a time, either pick your birthday or January 1st, every year, if there has been a profit on that more aggressive side, you lock in all that profit on the boring, stable side. Okay. okay. So each year, you make a profit, you lock it in. You make a profit, you lock it in. Now, what happens if there's one of those bad years where the money drops? Then you rejoice, like I'm doing right now. Market goes down. My clients and I are very happy because we take the money, we put it back into the low side, and when it comes back up, guess what? Yeah. You just doubled the money that you put in there. Okay? All right. So if you were to actually look at a chart, um, and there, they, I think we may have a chart here listed, or show where we can show the actual stock market, if you'd have left the money in there 13 years ago, you'd have the same amount of money today, okay. all right? plus all the dips. Using this hedging strategy, you would have doubled your money in the same amount of time. Okay, huge, huge difference. You just have to be diligent. You have to update it every year. Like I said, either pick your birthday or January 1st. Right. Um, and each year, bring yourself back to that 50-50 blend or that 70-30, whatever you pick. So like I said, call me. I can definitely show you how to do it. All right, it. his information is right there, uh, Johnson Asset Consulting. And you can find that uh, on our website. There's the phone number. He's ready to help you, so give him a ring. Dan, thank you, sir. Thank well, from you. money to how you look in the mirror, we've got advice for that as well today. Up next, if you've ever had questions about plastic surgery, we're going to answer a few.